Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and oh, 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 let me do something here real quick. Okay, okay, so, yeah, I don't want to make the same mistake I made with my, uh, Gems of War video that I made last night. I forgot to change it, change an audio setting on it, and then I'm having to redo the thing all over again. Oh, God, I was pissed. And I think it shook, I think it shows, uh, shows throughout that video, too, so, if you, so for those of you guys that I uh, watched that video last night, if I came off sounding mad, sorry. It just, it just really irked me. You know, you just, one tiny mistake, it, it forces me to have to do something all over again. But anyway, um, for this music, um, I think I played this before. I don't know if it was part of a cast or whatnot, but, uh, it does sound familiar. I just... Started going, just started uh, going through YouTube recommendations and whatnot. I'm trying to, trying to find something that wasn't metal, and or that wasn't copyrighted, and I think I found it. But like I said, I think I played this before. I don't know where though. Uh, it's called Geller or Jeller or how you pronounce it. Into the Chestburn Wood. Um, I believe these guys are from Australia. And I'll, this had to have come out recently. I, I could probably look real quick. came out about a month ago so pretty recent so anyway let me go ahead and rewind this back oh and there's gonna be a fair amount of moving parts in this so just get ready for some mistakes to be made uh, but to start with for the most part just slobbed and lazed around just uh, watched various things um, I think, um, one thing that I do remember watching was, um, Requiem for the American Dream. It was a documentary about a guy named Noam Chomsky. Um, I think he's a professor, a uh, professor of linguistics at some college. Um, and I, for lack of a better term, rabble rouser, like, uh, whistleblower, I think I, I don't know the I don't know the exact, the exact name name of it, but uh, pretty much a lot of what we know today, you know about, you know about big wealthy corporate interests, the, you know the upper class powers that be, all the all the shit they're doing to everybody else, you know, hoarding all the wealth for themselves and not leaving any for anybody else, basically fucking over everybody else in this country. You know the drill. It, it, it pretty much all came from this guy. And um, I, if, I under, if I understand it correctly, everything everything here was all planned out. So all the evils that the upper class are doing, everything was planned. There was like um, seven, seven principles or something like that. I can't um, like, shift the burden onto us, um, like, shift the role of, uh, or shift where the money comes from or something like that, like it, back in the day, most of our, uh, wealth, or, or, a lot of, most of our economy came from production, like, manufacturing cars and whatnot, um, they were trying to, they shifted it over now to banks, banks and financial institutions, so it got shifted over that, that that kind of thing again all the if I understand this documentary cor correctly all the evils that they do it was planned long ago like everything was all worked out and stuff kind of like the movie Merchants of Doubt if you've ever if you've ever seen it or if you've ever heard me talk about it how um how pe companies like Big Oil Big Tobacco etc they're uh, using the media to try to confuse people. I mean, they can't... They can't refute the scientific evidence that say smoking causes cancer. They can't just outright say, that's a lie, because then they have to back it up, which they couldn't. But what they could do, though, is uh, just make... just confuse people. Make people doubt the scientific evidence and stuff like that, so... But yeah, that, that was also... that was also planned out. Uh, but also I did I did do my usual play some gems of war uh, I streamed a little bit of it 
And um, I did a fair amount of it last night too. Uh, just doing doing a lot of PvP, and it just the the current build was just starting to get a little stale. So I shifted it up a little bit. Uh, played it. I I uh, we got a problem. Hold on. Okay, it's still working. It just uh, it went silent for a long period. I thought maybe YouTube was messing up on me or something. But um, I uh, tried out a new build. I even made a video about it. And um, I don't I don't like it as much as my main build. But like I said, I'm starting to get a little burnt on playing my main build. So just trying to branch out a little bit. So I just experimented with that. Um. But yeah, oh, and uh, I did uh, I did do my uh, weekly pinball stream, and it was a uh, hit and miss. Like uh, pinball FX3, that went great. I was chicken some butt on that thing. Just you know, just beat some uh, beat a few high scores here and there. And basically, just overall, just did all right. So, for you know what, not quite a storm, you know, not quite a stormtrooper. At least until I got to Pinball Arcade, where I was pretty shitty. That, it all went to shit after that. Just couldn't hit a damn thing. Just, and making shots that were so bad, they would literally bounce straight down the middle. Um, but you know, just making stupid stuff like that. I, I think I lasted maybe, I think maybe like 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, just... Pretty much came to the conclusion, you know, pretty much just had enough and then just, just went ahead and, uh, went ahead and shut it down. Um, I figured it'd be better, it would be better to quit before I rage quit, because I would, that's where I was heading. So, just, getting pretty steamed about that. One more thing. I gotta pull it up. It's, uh, apparently that was pretty much all I had. So I figured, uh, I figured I had enough to last me a while. What I'll go ahead and do is, let me... Whoops. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. So, just gonna go quickly through this. Um, it's hard to describe what's about to happen in America. We're woefully unprepared. And yes, I'm a pretty big Jessica Wildfire fan, in case anyone hasn't noticed. So, let me back up a bit. Omicron has become the second most contagious virus in the world, according to a pediatrician in Ohio. Replicates 70 times faster. Good thing I've been wearing my mask. With the exception of maybe one time when I walked into a busy grocery store without it. Oops. No. And I think, um, now that I think about it, I think Bill Maher, Bill Maher had a new rule, um, saying something about this, like, 
Most people don't give a shit until it happens to them. I guess a whole bunch of Congress people, you know, the anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, and all that stuff. Um, their their kids were testing for testing positive for COVID. They're getting sick, and I think some of them are dying as well. They they started wearing masks after that, but apparently for some people that's what it's gonna take. It's too bad. Especially when it comes to a virus like this, an ounce of prevention is worth a, worth a pound of cure. I guess another. I guess another good thing is uh, I work the night shift, so I'm hardly out during the daytime. You know, like peak, especially peak hours. started after leaving up. What kind of information? Well, like I said, I'm for the most part, I'm just skimming this. Hell yeah, they have, but uh, kind of what I said about the uh, the Noam Chomsky uh, requiem for American for an American dream. It, it, from what I saw in the documentary. This is all. This has been planned out since the outset, from way back. So, uh, oh, okay. I see what she's talking about. Okay, I'm like, okay, for a holiday trial. Why? Why, why would you want to get a booster? Then we're four, we're four days before Christmas, and New Millions of America are already in transit. So, a little late to the party, Bill, or Biden, I mean. Yep. Director Rochelle Wallace key on it. Just being back. May not. Well, from what I hear about Omicron, yeah, I, I kind of agree with her. <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay, yep, she was thinking what I was thinking then, too. Words like might and may. I'm like, may? <laughs> may, it won't be. America, it's anything goes. Yep, and I've said this in other casts too. Other countries, the moment they, um, the moment there's there's an inkling of an outbreak, everybody snaps too, puts the mask on, and it's like it's practically in unison over in places like Japan and Korea and etc. So we're probably the only country in the world where half the population doesn't give two shits about it, at least until it happens to them. You know. Yep. Um, don't have concrete evidence or experience, but I can easily see this. Just people are so sick and tired of the, of the coronavirus just being all over the media. It gets freaking annoying. Um, probably along the same lines as why uh, why so many people aren't Christian. Because they're fucking annoying as shit. I mean, they, don't, they preach, you know, they... You know, they percent lies where it isn't wanted or needed. You know, they're basically just being all around annoying. People are sick of it. That's probably why half of them are agnostic at best, or or they might uh they might you know, they might go to church like during Christmas or something like that, but for the most part, you know, they're they're not they don't they don't practice Christianity and one of the reasons why is just because they're sick of having it thrown, having it forced on them. It's also one of the reasons why I listen to the music that I listen to. One, I do enjoy, I, you know, I do enjoy, you know, Dungeon Synth and stuff like that, you know, but I know one of the re another reason why I, I do, though, is because, you know, I'm just, I'm sick of the mainstream stuff, because most of the music I hear in mainstream is basically being forced on me. So, like, when I go to work, when I go to work, it's piping in through the speakers, you know, just some god-awful music, Espe again, especially when I'm forced to listen to it. Maybe if, I, maybe if, 
if I were if the situation was different, I probably I I could probably tolerate it more. So same thing here. I could see this too. I think it's just people are tired of hearing about COVID. It's probably less. It's less the the deadliness of the virus itself or anything. It's just the fact that it's everywhere. You know, people don't shut up about it. I mean, it, it. I mean, to be sure, it is a serious issue. But on the other hand, you know, you know when it's basically being jammed down your throat. Or, hang on, there was an, there was another there was another phrase I was looking for. You know, when it, when when you're being beaten over the head with it, I mean. It causes a lot of clockwork orange buildup. It gets to where you don't want to hear it anymore. So yeah, I totally agree with this fact. Here, let me... Just this sentence here. I'll highlight this one. Yeah, you know, they're all just saying, fuck it. Barely a third of Americans boosted. Yeah, I still got to get my boost yet. I haven't heard about it. I haven't heard anything about it at Walmart. So, but I'm guessing they're going to have the boosters. Yep. Yep. Like it's like I said a few moments ago, people are sick of hearing it, so now it's just they're numb to it. But you know, on the other hand, too, oh, and um, for those that have haven't heard haven't heard any of my other casts, for the longest time, I was in the anti-vaxxer crowd, or I was in the anti-masker crowd. I was kind of with George Carlin. I mean, that's what you got an immune system for, killing germs. You know, but when I started reading more and more about this, you know, because I mean, in, in my mind, the coronavirus is not the AIDS virus. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to shut down your immune system. You know, it, it's not anthrax where I think it, uh, it, ca it causes your immune system to literally turn against you and start destroying your own body. Uh, it, it wasn't that either. So it, you know, going by that, I figured once you get it once, you know, you build up a you know, build up your own immunity to it. You don't have to worry about catching it again. You know, that kind of thing. You know, but uh, when I'm finding out that you can still transmit it to other people even though you don't have the symptoms. And then um, when I heard about the uh, Delta variant, you know, which is basically, you know, uh, corona, you know, corona version 2.0. And, you know, Delta came out because... You know, it evolved and got stronger because not many people were wearing their masks or getting vaccinated. So that's just, the virus got stronger. You know, maybe if we took a page out of the playbook of, you know, China, probably Europe, all those other places that were wearing their masks at all times, all, you know, where everybody is doing it, you know, maybe the uh, virus would be all, would be all but gone here. But so, so yeah, it, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not some high and mighty person like I used to be like these I used to be an anti back anti vaxxer and anti masker too. So have to take care of ourselves. Masking and distancing. Yeah, this is a very difficult part right here too, because You know, I mean, you know, and I, I kind of risked exposure too during the Christmas dinner. Nobody in my family was wearing masks. You know, none of my relatives were. So, you know, but it's a Christmas dinner. So, the last thing you want to do is you want, you, the last you want to do is get into an argument about whether or not you should wear a mask. It just seems like very bad form, you know. So I, I kind of followed everybody else in my family and I didn't wear one. So, but, but yeah, so this is the hard part that even I fail on.
Now, I would like to think that my family, outside of like Christmas dinner, they're gonna wear their masks in public. But like I said, I don't, I don't really hang out with them outside of like functions like this, you know, like dinner and get-togethers. Um, outside of that, I don't really, I don't really talk to them. So. We have to keep checking our updates from experts like Eric Topol, Eric Feigl Dingle, or however you pronounce it, even if we're truly sick of hearing about the pandemic. Yep. So. That, that kind of went a little over long there. But like I said, um, if, any, if anything, that article uh, was basically just because I kind of went a little underlong with this cast. I thought I had enough. I mean, I thought um, I thought I had enough to where it would last around 15 minutes, but no. Because it, I mean, it wouldn't be much of a cast if I just said, oh, I didn't do much. I just sat around and just watched various videos. But, so, but that's the cast. Bye, everybody. See ya. You know, hey, you know, what a, just, what, what, what a bit of, what a bit of waste of effort then. <laughs> Anyway, um, but I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, so, yeah, like I said, it went a little bit over long, um, yeah, but otherwise, hey, thanks for, um, tuning in and listening to me, everybody, um, always appreciated, and this will be my last cast for the week, so, um, so I'll be working Wednesday and Thursday, um, I'll be off on Friday, I, the way they usually do it around Christmas um, I'm off on Christmas Eve, but I'll have to work Christmas night. That's how they usually do it, but I'll need to double check my schedule to make sure. But, but uh, for sure, I'll be working Wednesday and Thursday. So, Saturday morning, there will probably be a cast. And Sunday morning is up in the air. So, But until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.